Hi everyone, this is Jeffrey Robb from the Hiram College Student Senate. We just wanted to make this quick video to talk about mental health resources on our campus, and we'd like to start by talking with Dr. Kevin from the Health Center. Hello, my name is Dr. Kevin Feastamel. I'm the Executive Director of the Health, Counseling, and Disability Service Center here at Hiram College. Um, myself, as well as four counseling interns, provide all the counseling and psych services here for students on campus. Um, if you're interested in seeking appointment for mental health care, please call us at the Health Center. Um, our overall goal is to help you learn strategies and techniques to live healthier and happier lives on a daily basis. So feel free to give us a call. Thank you so much. Next, let's hear from Marjorie in the Health Center about physical health resources to nourish your mind and your body. Good morning, I'm Margie, one of the nurses at the Student Health Center, and I wanted to talk briefly this morning how healthy eating can improve your mental health. Think of your brain like a sports car. It requires premium fuel to run at its optimum. Your brain is no different. When you choose fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, lean proteins, you are nourishing your brain with plenty of vitamins, plenty of minerals, antioxidants, so you are able to perform at your peak performance. So remember, next time you have the choice, choose the leafy green vegetables, choose the fresh fruits, so you are fueling your brain to run at its best. Have a great day. Finally, let's hear from Professor Debbie Casper with a brief introduction to meditation. Is this what comes to mind when you hear the word meditation? Images like this lead us to believe that meditation is about sitting cross-legged with your eyes closed and your mind empty. As a result, some people think that if they have a hard time doing either of those things, then meditation is not for them. But this couldn't be further from the truth. First, it's important to know that there are many different kinds of meditation. In the Tibetan tradition I practice and teach in, meditation is simply about getting to know our minds, calmly observing how they work so we can learn to use mind more skillfully. The idea is that mind is like a sense. Just as the eyes see and the ears hear, mind thinks. It's constantly generating thoughts and visions and impulses, and that's not a problem, unless we don't know that these products of mind are always naturally arising and dissolving, if we let them. But in taking them to be more real and solid than they actually are, we may find ourselves tossed about by mind or oppressed by thoughts. Through the practice of noticing when thoughts arise and then letting them go, we strengthen our ability to not get hooked and carried away by our own thoughts. You've probably heard about some of the documented benefits of meditation. From the Tibetan perspective, these are all bonuses, results of gradually calming and training the mind, which is a matter of grave importance because our minds so powerfully determine the quality of our lives. If we rely on external circumstances for our happiness, we're in trouble because things are always shifting and changing. Obstacles and challenges in life are inevitable. The ability to find calm within, to be rulers of our own minds is a source of great power and the only genuine freedom. So important today when billions of dollars are invested in shaping how we feel, what we pay attention to, and our attention span itself. If you think you might want to integrate meditation into your life, here are a few tips for getting started. If any of this sparks your interest and you want to know more, let me know. I'd be happy to chat. With that, I wish you the very best on your journey toward radiant wellness. I hope that this video has helped you in some way. If you ever need anything, always feel free to reach out to your senator your RA, the Health Center, or any one of these fantastic speakers in this video. If you'd like to learn more about green time and screen time, I would encourage you to look at the next video with Tech and Trek and Garrett Monroe that talks about how to balance those two things. Thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you continue to stay well and have a great day.